Hi, I'm Sean Carlos, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series we're taking a look at the HTC HD7 running with Windows Phone 7. In this episode, we're going to talk about actually using Windows Phone 7 on the HD7. Now, once you've gone through the phone's initial setup, like we did in the previous episode, you're ready to start using it. But the first thing you may notice after leaving it for a few minutes is that the screen has shut off, and it doesn't uh, respond to input on the screen or the buttons around the bottom. So the first thing you'll need to do to get it running again is press the power button at the top just quickly, and it'll actually turn the phone back on. You'll see a little screen that has the time and a bit of information about messages that are outstanding on your phone. Now, of course, a lot of people are using their cell phone instead of a wristwatch these days to tell the time, so this is a really quick way to find out the time or just to find out if you have any messages outstanding without having to launch the phone proper and go into your mail client. The information will appear on your screen for just a few seconds and then the phone will power back down again. Now, if you want to actually use the phone instead of just looking at the time, press the power button, and then instead of just looking at the screen, swipe it upwards with your finger and it'll actually get you into the user interface for Windows Phone 7. Now in Windows Phone 7, all the activities you're going to have on the phone, all the applications are set up as blocks of varying sizes. You can scroll upwards and downwards through this screen to get to different activities. To open any of these applications, just tap on them, and then you can hit the back button to go back to the home screen. If you're a little bit further into the application, at any point you can actually tap on the Windows key as well, and that'll take you right back up to the very top screen. So as I said, some of the other applications you want may be further down the list. In this case, we have the Marketplace and Xbox Live further down. We have some carrier-specific apps from Bell here, including their PVR. We have some HTC-specific apps specific to this phone and to the manufacturer of the phone. We have some other things down there as well. Now, if you're not really thrilled with the positioning of each of these apps, you can actually move them around on the screen. You're not locked into what you see here. To move an item around, press on it and hold down until it gets larger than the rest of them. Then you can move it up or down through the list. When you're ready to drop it into a specific section, just let go. Then when you're done, you can actually tap over to the right-hand side of the screen where there are no apps, and it'll actually take you back to the main menu system, and everything will be ready to go again. Now, if you want to remove an item from this list altogether, you can do that too using the same function. Just press and hold on it, and you'll notice when you press and hold on it, when it gets bigger, instead of moving it, you'll also notice at the top right-hand corner a little pin icon with a no through it. Tap on that, and it'll actually take it off your list. Now, this doesn't remove the app entirely. It just unpins it from that main screen. You can also see a list of other apps that are on your phone by looking at the top right-hand corner of your screen for the little arrow that's pointing to the right. Tap on that, and it'll reveal a list of all the other apps that are on your phone. You scroll down through this list to get to the other items that you want. Now, if you want to add one of these to your home screen, you can tap and hold on it, and a few options will appear. One of these is to pin it to your home screen. Just tap on that, and it'll automatically go over to your home screen. Then you can reposition it as you see fit. One of the other options from this is to uninstall the app completely. Now, just a reminder that wherever you are on the phone, whether you're inside an application or on one of the sub-menu screens, you can actually hit the back button that's located on the bottom of the screen, and that'll take you back one screen. If you're at the top level of the application, it'll take you back to the home screen. At any point, if you want to go back to the home screen, just tap on the Windows Start button. Well, that's it for using Windows Phone 7 on the HTC HD7. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series. We'll show you other things that you can do with the HD7, and you can check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.